Soto is a manufacturer which is focusing on the fiber optic products for the FTTX solution. We can provide fiber transfer, optical fiber cable, pawn equipment, and so on. Today, we will show what tests will be performed after our fiber transfer production is completed. Hello everyone, this is the machine for testing. Okay, whenever the fiber transfer production is completed, we must test the five uh, parameters of each fiber transfer. Let's take 10 g 1310 km for example. Okay, after connecting with the fiber, we can see the eye diagram. The ideal state of the eye diagram is square, but due to electrical signal loss, it will fall the shape of eye. You can see this is the eye. It can be seen from this picture that the eye diagram of our model is very close to the screen. Now let's see the parameters. This is the optical output power. The industry standard is negative 8.2 to 0 0.5 dBm. Now our is uh, negative 2.5 dBm. Okay, the next one is extinction ratio. The industrial standard is greater than 3.5 dB. Our is 4.1 dB. And the next one is sensitivity. Industry standard is less than negative 40.5 dBm. Okay, now you can see the attenuator is negative 15 dBm. And then when you see this one, the big ever is zero, so it means the sensitivity is less than negative 40.5 dBm. It's good. Next one is alarm warning value. We need to check these three lamps. Lamps is used to verify that the laser is 40. If the lamp is on, that means the laser is 40. This lamp is used to verify that the optical model has a received optical signal. If this lamp is on, that means the optical model has not received any optical signal. The third lamp is used to control the laser luminescence. Okay, the last one is DDM parameter. As you can see, uh, it can show temperature, voltage, EBS, optical output power, receiver out optical power and look at this one if this light is green so it means uh, the optical model already passed the test generally in this step some vendor will choose a part of fiber model to test randomly however in order to ensure the quality of our fiber models we will test all optical model in an application scenario that simulates actually actual transmission. This is at room temperature. Here is a scenario that simulates actual optical fiber transmission. This is 10 km fiber optic disc. Use a patch core to keep the model in a link. If the bit error value is displaced as zero, it means that the optical fiber can transmit 10 km under normal conditions. Next one is time to test the temperature. Usually, commercial temperature is zero to 70 degrees, and industrial temperature is negative 40 to 85 degrees. Yes, uh, as you can see, this machine is for testing uh, temperature. For example, if you order industrial temperature, so we will adjust the case temperature to 85 degrees and let the fiber model transmit again. Now this is the set temperature is 85 degrees. This is the real time temperature, 26 degrees now. 
if the bit arrow value is displaced as zero, it means that yes, yes, you can see zero, right? It means that optical fiber can transmit 10 km normally. In the same, if the T14 temperature is the same test method. Okay, if a fiber transceiver can pass for the both tests, it means this fiber transceiver fully meet the requirements. Okay, let's take a look at this one. This is our finished product. This is the last step. This step will be completed after receiving the customer's order requirements because we can write different compatibility codes according to the customer's needs. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or something you want to know, please do not hesitate to leave a message below and we will reply as soon as possible. See you next time.